Uh, hello everybody and welcome to another Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. Today is not a career video, today we're on th my other profile, one without pro mods. And as you can see we've got the Spain Portugal DLC. Um, I know it's a bit late and many people have already seen a lot of it and everything but I'm not rich so I can't get DLCs as soon as they come out like some of the bigger YouTube channels can. I'm already in Barcelona as you can see it says I've already been to Bilbao, Bampalone, Torrell and Valencia I think that's from when I had the pro mods and it's picking up on them for some reason I don't know why but hey ho we've got new ferry ports you've got a ferry port out of Valencia that goes to Italy in Palermo so from Palermo you now got three different destinations you can go to. You can go from Barcelona to Marseille and Barcelona to can't we really tell there. Oh yeah the Barcelona one looks like that's going to Naples. So Barcelona to Naples as it goes in between the two islands there. I was just trying to uh follow the lines there. I think that Marseille one goes to Porto, Fuchiku, Fukoku, Fuchichu. I do apologise for saying that wrong. Yeah and the Barcelona one goes down to Naples. And on the other side we've got no ports from Portugal but on the other side we've got Bilbo and Santander, Santander, just like the bank, and that goes up to Plymouth. So you don't need to go to all the way through France to get to Spain. You can just go to Plymouth and travel down to Bilbo or Santander. I wonder if from here, if you went to the edge, you can actually see Africa. We'll have to have a look at that if we ever get down there. This is going to be a regular series now going all around Spain and Portugal and see if we can get to all the cities and towns. Of course as we know there will be a few um, villages and that that aren't on the map that you drive through and you get that on both Pro Mods and uh, SES. I think SES has ones like that. Could be one. Um, I'm in Barcelona already. It's not got the uh, principality on here that you get on the Pro Mods one. There's only two entrances into Spain as well now for this. So that's from Bayonne or coming down from Toulouse or Mentepelle and then down into Barcelona. It's a shame they ain't got that principality there which is between France and Spain because that is actually quite nice but you can't get that on the Pro Mods version. What I don't know is because Pro Mods will be introducing in their next update will have the Barcelona Portugal DLC integrated into theirs so I don't know because with their French one with Calais they had a different Calais and then when Calais was updated what they've done is used SCS's Calais so they've took their Calais away. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with Barcelona because they've got their Barcelona goes up to Bilbao and it goes down to so I get rid of that goes down to Valencia so I don't know <coughs> if they're going to integrate the principality that's there in with their France and their with SES's version of Spain and Portugal. I do know having gone a little bit around Barcelona, the Pro Mods version of Barcelona is way much better than the SES version of Barcelona. Don't get me wrong, the SES version of Barcelona is nice. It's just not as good as the Pro Mods version. You've got air post there. I don't know if that's an airport there. 
I have no idea if that's an airport where that air post is. Uh, there is. I don't think there's an airport in the um, Pro Mods version, but I as as not been there yet in this in the SES version. I don't know if that's an airport there or not. But what we're going to do is we're going to do external contracts to get around Spain as part of the Ibra. Um, what's it called? Oh, cruising Ibria. I think that's how you pronounce it, Ibria. That's why I keep calling it the Spain Portugal DLC because I I don't know if I'm pronouncing Iberia Iberia right. So there's 20 jobs to do. I think there is. So rules: using external contracts or external market with a world of trucks connected profile, which we've got in Euro Truck Simulator 2. The community goal is to drive 250. 100,000 km while delivering, I think I've done, said that right, while delivering cargoes to and from any city in Iberia, so that's Spain and Portugal. When a player completes a del delivery to or from any 20 unique Iberian cities, they will achieve their personal goal. All jobs for the event need to be at least 200 km or more. You can check if your recent deliveries meet these conditions using your logbook in the World of Trucks profile. Rewards. Personal goal. Players that deliver a cargo to and from 20 unique Iberian cities will gain a personal World of Trucks achievement and impressive Iberian Lynx themed ETS2 truck paint job steam inventory item. Community goal. When the community goal of driving 250, I think it's 250 million km during deliveries to and from any Iberian city is met and if the player has also achieved their personal goal then they will receive a plush Iberian Lynx toy and Iberian mask bubble head ornament as steam inventory infantry items. Note, in order to qualify for the community rewards you must complete at least your personal goal in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Each reward will be a steam inventory item for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Once completed, claim your reward in the events page of your World of Trucks profile. The event will be concluded on Tuesday the 11th of May at 11.59 UTC. I'm not sure what UTC is. So you've got open events page and browse contracts. I don't need to open the events page. So that is what we're going to do. So let's go to world map again. Oh no, there's something I wanted to do first, wasn't there? I want to check out the new Renault T Evolution. So trucks. So truck dealers. Right, Renault trucks. No, right here in Barcelona. Yes, I want to visit. Instead of doing it online all the time. I'm right here. So. Do, 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 do. Right. Renault Premium. Normal roof. Renault T Sleeper. Renault Magman. Renault Magman Excellent. Renault Premium High Roof. Renault Premium Normal Roof. Renault Magnum Excellence. Renault Premium High Roof. Renault Magman Excellence. Renault T High Sleeper, Renault T High Sleeper. Okay. I don't seem to have the Renault T High Evolution. Because the Renault T High Sleep. The Renault T High Sleeper is what we've got at the moment. And that's this one with all the add ons. So where's the evolution? I'm sure that was supposed to have been released by now. Okay, I'll have to have a look for that when I come when I'm not recording. I'll have a look for that, and then we'll have to do have a look at that on a separate video on the next video, on the next episode of this. So let's. Uh, I should be in all the Renault shops, wouldn't it? I don't think it matters what Renault sh shop we go to. 
Um, let's go to one in France. We'll have to check that online because we don't want to go visit. So, online. No, Renault T High Sleepers. No, Evolution. Huh. Okay. They don't seem to have the Evolution. I'll have to contact one of the SCS pages for that. Because I'm pretty sure I've got the most up to date game, which is why I've got the Spain and Portugal. So I don't understand why I ain't got the Renault T Evolution. That don't make sense. Right, let's start waffling on and get driving and explore Spain and, and Portugal. So we need external contracts. So there should be external contracts in Barcelona. So we don't want to go to Germany. We want to go to somewhere That's quite a long one there, isn't it? That's going to take quite a while. So at the other end of the spectrum. Well, you don't want to do Barcelona to Barcelona, do we? We don't want it too short, but we don't want it too long because I've done a lot of talking at the beginning of this video. So. goes to Lisbon, that goes to Madrid, and I don't like either of those trailers, to be honest with you, not my favourite trailers to um, pull, to Bilbo, Let's see what their version of Bilbo looks like. from the north coast to Kaijong used car batteries ok let's stick to the north and go to Kaijin Kaijong because then we can always drop down into Portugal and then drop back to Madrid so I'll do this one Pending. Right, resume job. Let's have a look at that. I shouldn't have one pending. I don't remember. Milan to Milan. Quick drive. I don't remember doing that. Ok, it looks like we're going to have a quick trip in Italy first. Some of you in Italy. Why are we in Italy? Okay, 
Okay, so we're in Barcelona and it's saying we've got a job. We've got to go all the way to Milan to do a job in Milan. Yeah, that don't make sense. So, yeah, we're going to cancel that. So let's go back here and let's find. Send and there. Uh, we're going to go to Gaijin, weren't we? I keep wanting to pronounce it Cajun, like what uh, Japanese people call English people. Kaijin. But it's not, is it? It's Gaijon. I think it's how they pronounce it. And even then, I don't think I'm saying it right. So I do apologise. Not that one. But I won't even be able to find it now, will I? Is that Madrid? Oh no, Madrid one? That's wood shaving, so that's Dijon de France, isn't it? That's Dijon. Porto, Lisbon. Lisbon, Paris. Barcelona to London. Okay, I can't find that one. We just had quite a few Barcelona to Barcelona, is there? Do you know for this one, I'm just going to do Barcelona to Barcelona. It's that air post, so we can see if there's an airport here. So I'm just going to quickly do that one, and then on the next episode, we'll do the next one. So we abandoned that other one, so because we didn't actually do it. I don't know why it's brought us back out now. External contracts. I right know that other one's gone again. Did I cancel the other one? Did I cancel the one I went on? Oh, this is peeing me off now. Is it that one I can't find that other Kaijon one? You know what, we'll go to Barcelona to Madrid. We're doing carbon black powder. Go. And right, we're at our garage in Barcelona, which I bought when I came down here, which weren't on the game, uh, on the video, sorry. So. We need to. Right, do I need petrol? No. Just have a look on the map where we gotta go. Okay, so we gotta go up to here. And then of course we'll be going down to there. So let's go get 
get what we need to get. Coaches over there. Coach rest or coach station. Advertising for some food over there. We seem to be quite jittery. I've never had this problem in Eurotruck before. I'm gonna. Have to, I'm just gonna have to uh, save it here for a minute. Come out, reload it, and I'll be back in a minute. Freezing. Okay, so we're back now. I had to restart. That's better. I had to restart the uh, computer and update my. Nevada G, G Drive. Let's go across the train tracks here. Well, that's that's running a lot smoother now. I think it could be because the G Drive was not running properly, so it weren't updated. As so I couldn't op optimize the game. As everyone knows, I don't. You, if you're new to this channel, I go by all the um, rules of the road apart from speed. Because it's quite hard to man, man, maintain a speed when you're using a keyboard. As soon as I can afford. steering wheel and pedal pedals then of course yes I will be uh, sticking to the speed limit because it'll be a lot easier to do that. I don't know what I did there. I'm paying attention. Why he's slowing down for, I don't know. So we're going in here. Like I said Barcelona don't look too bad. It looks really good. It's just not on par with the Pro Mods version. Right, I've got to find the um, little green sign. to the 
like we do. Get to drive one of those in uh, GTA 5. Just give me one second, I just need to uh, put the passcode in my phone because I had to, the battery went. Luna. Damage container there. It's probably been dropped. <laughs> No good stopping there, is it? We might as well carry on. What's the point of stopping right in front of me when I can't move? If I turn it, turn out, I'm going to bash right into you, you stupid driver. Yeah, why are you slowing down? Why? SES needs to sort that out. You know, you've got plenty of, t plenty of room to get through. That's just stupid. system that's why we couldn't get through okay even though there's two gates there I thought we came in on this side but you don't oh that way's blocked off that's why ah okay cross over okay, I see. make it give way to us okay I see you there it's quite interesting never seen something like that before So somebody crashes into me, I'm hardly moving, someone crashes into me and I get fined. That matters because of the amount of money I've got, but SCS, come on, sort it out. If someone's crashing into me and it's not my fault, I should not be getting fined. That is total BS. That's something that act should have been sorted out ages ago now. Now your truck's been out since 2012. That's something that should have been sorted out a long, 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 long time ago. DLC straight away. I'm also trying to save up to get a new microphone and of course the steering wheel and pedal so but all that costs money which I don't have. Yeah, I've not even done a um, train simulator across city but yet. First drive on that. I haven't been able to play it so I'll and that came out before this did. We've got the DLC now. But I've just not been able to play. We'll do a video yet. I've got the 
microphone closer to me today, so hopefully you can hear me a bit more clearly. Because I noticed that my voice does sound quite a bit low, even though the microphone is... The volume of the microphone is up to max. But when I've played back, it sounds like you can't hear me that much. So hopefully you can hear me a lot better today. You see a train going there. Cargo train, freight train. That's the same one. And over the bridge and round. Probably not. I don't think it was. Where the other train was going. Can't remember what direction it was going now. Once we've done this one, we'll do another episode where it's a bit longer. At least this gives you the idea of what Barcelona is like. I would like to go to Madrid. That's why I don't want to go down to Valencia because it's something until much later because it's something you can compare it with the Pro version. And I don't want to do that, I want to see new stuff. brand new experience so I don't have to compare it like I have done with Barcelona. And of course if, you, if you've been to Barcelona, you know, let me know in the comments below um, how accurate it is. Okay, we're going to Madrid. I thought we picked up the Barcelona one. Barcelona did Barcelona. For some reason, we're going to Madrid. Huh. I thought it was taking a bit long. Yeah, but apparently we're going to Madrid. 
Okay, okay, the video's gonna be a little bit longer than what I thought it was gonna be. Ooh. So we're gonna go through Zaragoza. Which I think includes this as well. Oh, they got three question marks there. I don't know why they got three question marks, but we're going to find out. Because we're going to go all the way up here. And that takes us past all three question marks. Might as well just go all the way around, really, isn't it? Instead of turning back, it'd be a lot easier. Super Costa, the supermarket there. I just want to see what that supermarket looks like. I know, can you go through it? Oh, no. okay. Okay, 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 let's cross that off. We we'll just have to turn around. Cross off. Okay, we'll do the same there as well. We'll just turn around and it can adjust itself. Um, and we're going down here. Put on the A2. Along here. Along here. Along here. Okay, just for, then down into Madrid. It's Madrid's a big place. And there is an airport there. Air post. So, okay, if we go past this airpost and it's an airport, then we know that one in Barcelona is an airport as well. And then we go down here. Okay. Madrid is a bit like London. It's got this big ring road around it. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff inside Madrid as well, inside here, which they've not put in. Of course, it's a shame because that's probably where the town centre is. Is right in the middle there. So it'd have been good to have been able to see that. I'm sure they could have fitted a bit more in the middle. They've got all that space there. They could have done the centre of Madrid. So we can see a bit more of Madrid actually. What I'm going to do is come down this way. And get those two question marks out of the way as well, and they go around. No. Yeah. That way we can see a bit more of Madrid or the southern part of Madrid anyway. You still got that part of Madrid as well, and well, not really anything there, is there? Petrol gauge on that side. Oh, that's about it for Madrid. And that part of Madrid as well. I'm going to need to pick up Petra at some point. There's a rest area there. A petrol garage there. I'll come up to one here. So I think we'll go to this one. There you go. I'm just not seeing this. I can remember otherwise. I'm not going to remember. Check these messages quickly.
sao thì nào mình thấy This video is going to be a lot longer than I thought it would be I was wondering why it was taking so long to get to Barcelona to Barcelona <laughs> I picked up the truck it told me to, the trailer it told me to. And I'm sure I clicked Barcelona to Barcelona. I'll have to have a look. When um, I edit the video. Yeah. We're going to Madrid instead. But we still get the answer whether that's an airport in Barcelona or not, because there's one, there's one in Madrid as well with the same company logo. So I'm pretty sure it'd be the same thing. Because there's no centre to Madrid, we have a look. We'll detour around and go the long way around, just so we can have a better look of Madrid. Still quite peeved that I can't find the Renault T Evolution because they made such a big deal about that and being under the red velvet in the uh, gar in the thing. I'm pretty sure they said it was released because they've got people designing it, uh, pe players designing liveries for it, which will of course appear in game and in real life. It was. Um, revealed on game first before it was in real life. Actually it's, it's a first. It's quite cool really, isn't it? And try to be revealed in game before it's revealed in real life. message board or something and see why it's not there or not. That's £52 paid and at the same time there's a 2000 income coming in. Is that just the 2000 Again, this is not my career mode because my career mode has pro mods in it. Right, so I don't think I would have spent as many hours as, I, as I've had if there wasn't pro mods. Because pro mods, you've got the Middle East, you've got Iceland, you've got Ireland, you've got Northern Ireland. London is not to be disrespectful to SES, but La Pro Mods London is a billion times better, and that's not an over exaggeration. They even fit Croydon in there, which more looks like Pearly Way than it does Croydon, to be honest. Promos, you've got like little drive through towns like Hastings. It's you know, you you can't do any jobs there. There we go, Zaragoza. Zaragoza, Zaragoza discovered. You can't even do any jobs in Hastings, but it's there. You can now do, um, you can drive past Stone Edge now in the latest up Promods update. And you can go through Bristol. Again, you can't do any jobs, but you can drive through it. Their Plymouth is a lot better as well. I'm pretty sure ProMods is a lot smaller team than SES. And their updates are a lot cheaper as well. I mean, it's free if you're on the normal downloads, which I think is a lot slower. But if you're on the 
if you want to pay for the express downloads and the pack all together, then oh, that's nice down there. You can see a bit of the town. Oh, we can see a football pitch there. Seems enough. Don't know if that's in the actual football club of this town or not. Now <laughs> I was totally distracted now. I know certainly how much permanence is better. And that's what's kept me through playing your truck too. I mean I'll I'd keep coming back for each DLC, don't get me wrong. Because each DLC has been a vast improvement on the last one. But I wouldn't have logged as many hours. Of course, we have we are using the new lighting system. behind us as well. I can see it in my mirror, in the upper mirror. You just see the start of the train and I can hear it as well. I don't know if you can hear it but it is there. There it is, you can just see it. <laughs> and that's one of the sound improvements that they've done as well. That you can hear trains better. One of the improvements that they did. So I'm quite away, quite away, away from the train track now. Oh look there, it's, it's in front of us now. Oh, there's viewpoints. Oh man, yes. Viewpoints. Now that's something that's in American truck sim, it's viewpoints. Oh, look at this bridge. No, I think that's the monorail over there. This, that, oh, that bridge is nice. I like that bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge, I think. Oh, that's quite nice there. We've got a rest stop here as well. I'm not sure what... Does this account still as... Yeah, I think this still counts as part of Zaragoza. Zaragoza. If that was a monorail as well, I hope we actually get to see a monorail go past. That would be cool. That would be so cool. So I don't think I've ever seen any monorail in Euro Truck. And for the first time for you guys, because on American Truck, I've only just started, I've, only, I've done two episodes on American Truck, so you wouldn't have seen any viewpoints yet. So this would be your first time experiencing viewpoints. I must have forgotten about this if they've said it, or whether this is just a really nice surprise I'm not sure so, there's a monorail here yeah, yeah, probably can be a viewpoint oh, so, I mean Madrid's got a viewpoint as well you got to have a viewpoint in Madrid you thought you'd have one in Barcelona as well there isn't one in Barcelona you thought you'd have a viewpoint in Barcelona. If it was on any of the briefings, then I've probably forgotten about it. Which is good, because then it's... Oh, I've discovered a truck, so I don't have to drive the other. 
It's good that I forgot about it because then it's, it's come up as a nice surprise. This is the ind industrial estate. The garage there if we buy it from here. If I'm going to buy it, I'll probably do it online. Shop there. Recruitment agency. So now we, we need to go find that. Um, Should be at the park here. This should be a rest, a rest spot here. This should be a rest spot. I need to find where this viewpoint is, don't I? Oh, it's over here. As we come back round, okay. A big work area like this, there'll be bus stops, wouldn't you? I know in Derby they've got uh, bus stops in the industrial park. There's a coach there. Or a bus, I'm not sure if that's a coach or a bus. That should be a rest spot as well. You know, these little side bits where you can see other trucks resting, there should be rest spots for the players as well. Something for SCS to uh, think about. Sargoza in because it's saying Sargoza this way. Unless it's Sargoza Industrial and the other Sargoza is the actual town. Got some advertisement there. It's nice to see advertisement which isn't just advertising. Not only advertising but would you just see your truck and American your truck. You don't really see proper advertising so it's really nice to see proper advertising in the game and I hope they update that for all around. So here we go. Can press E. Really, it should lower your sleeping as well as you're resting by looking. But here's your very first look at a viewpoint. So it is a cutscene for those who didn't know. And it's going to show you around the area. Oh, this is the shopping centre of Zaragoza. So that's in front of us, the shopping centre. And yet it is a monorail. Oh, it is a monorail. And there is a monorail train over there. I don't know if it's moving or whether it's just in station. I don't think it's moving. Which is a shame. Look at that bridge. Oh, isn't that lovely? That is a lovely bridge. There's a shopping centre over there. This shopping over. Oh look there it is, oh there it goes, oh look at that, oh that is fantastic, oh I like that, that is that is brilliant, I'm overjoyed about that, <laughs> oh that's a nice looking bridge, a nice looking road bridge, it is really nice when all bridges just don't look the same, or generic, and they've got their own little quirks, you see it from a different angle now. Of course, the shopping centre here, the car park. 
See some more advertising up there, advertising boards. You see the mono monorail in the distance as well. Take there is a station by the car park as well. And that's it. Look at that, your very first cutscene for those that didn't know about it. Oh, look at that. I've seen the trucks with those ice lollies on it. There are uh, ice lollies with ice cream inside. In England, they're commonly known as splits. But I saw the vans on the Pro Mods version. I thought it was something Pro Mods had put in, but it's not. It's something SCS has done. So not only have they got the advertising, but they got the trucks as well. Oh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I'll let you see the monorail going past as well. If anybody lives here or has visited here, please let me know about this monorail. Does it just go backward and forward between the two stops? Or is there more to it? I'm actually going down here as well, towards the shopping centre. So there, there's the station for the shopping centre. Take you down onto the. No, I can't take you down. Oh no, there is a barrier there. So it's like probably emergency exit or something for police vehicles or something. I didn't see the barrier there. <laughs> There now. I'm gonna go through here to get through to the other side. Yes, this is Super Caster. Super Caster. Just do for his do jobs. There's a road on the other side. So can we go through? A restaurant there as well. So I think the monorail is just between the two stops. I don't. So. Oh, yikes. So that's probably a terminal station there. I'm more advertising board there. So that's a terminal station because it don't go past the superstore. I don't know if the station over there goes further down. Or whether that's a terminal station down there. There's a building there, so I don't know if it's just in between. I think it might be. Because that just keeps going between the two stops, don't it? Just keep going back and forwards. Right, you stop, thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, there's a building there, so it's... Unless it goes... Sorry, I'm just trying to look. Does it go over the top of the building? I don't think it does. I think it just... I think that's where it stops. There is, there is one way to go have a look without keep damaging the lottery. 
we go to few uh, photo mode photo studio and let's have a look yeah so it only runs between here to over there so it's just a one stop thing I should have got a photo of the actual monorail shouldn't I, why the chance Where's this bridge as well? It's absolutely lovely. I actually like, like, really like this bridge. Just <laughs> bring it into focus and get the blur transition and strength off. So I'm going for a bit of a photo. Yeah, it's in the station now, isn't it? So, ah, oh, that's a shame. It'd be nice if I could have got a picture of it. There we go, get under that nice bridge. So we're stopping again. Yeah, full of advertisement on it. So okay, as far as it'll go. I'm focusing straight up. Bring into more detail, blurring down. There we go. Calf crystal. Mm. Sounds nice. It sounds posh and expensive. There we go. Got the ice cream being on that monorail as well. Okay, so we've got a nice picture of it as well. So that's good. First time in one of them has ever been in any game. No, I lie. In American Truck, there's one of them. I can't remember if it moves or not. In Las Vegas, in Las Vegas, in Las Vegas, there's one of them. I can't remember if you see one. Is it actually moving or not? When it turn at the same time I'm doing my window up. Right. Ah! Well, it does now. Yeah. And that's 13 hours and 23 minutes in, not in game time, but in real life. So if I paused it, the timer will still count down. So all this time. Three fifteen in the morning. My little leg feeling too well. When she's not feeling too well, I can't sleep. So I'm going to do the 
this video for you guys. Oh, that, I'm not, oh, that, go my way. Well, that, that time it was my fault. Hands up. Totally my fault. I thought we were turning. So after this, I'm going to even crack on with a train simulator video. Or, I'm going to go and watch the Superstore on Netflix because I'm on season 3, episode 3. I'm quite addicted to that. It's a drama comedy or comedy drama. That's really, I've really got addicted to it. I've been binge watching it. I started it a couple weeks ago. It's been on my list for ages. I started watching it a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, and I'm already on season 3. Solar panels up there on the hill. Fill up. But that's a hotel over there. Not sure. Pretty basic, really. No restaurants or anything. Yes, yeah, I hope that's a hotel over there because there's a rest area. Not trucks to stop there. So yeah, that's a hotel over there. Oh, hotel over there. Be careful, we don't miss our turning. Right glitch there. It's because I've had to edit where I've had to pause the game. Well, they really cut through the mountain here, didn't they? That could have easily been a tunnel. I would have lost less grass and vegetation. like it's a cake and someone just cut right through the middle of it, the cake. <laughs> Leaving two slices on each side. And you see it's got quite dark there. I think the sun's gone behind a cloud. It's quite cool because you see it's got a bit brighter now. So it's like the sun's going behind the cloud. So that's, that's quite cool. And that's thanks to the uh, new lighting system. I'm really enjoying the new lighting system, by the way. I think SES have done a fantastic job with that. Even the clouds look a lot more real. Not just the ones in front of you, but the ones in the mirrors as well. So. 
If not, it'll be in the next one. Pretty sure. I think the next thing that uh, SCS needs to do is update the uh, game engine, I think. If it's possible. This game has been running since 2012. I think that's the next big step that they need to do. I know the, the next DLC they're working on is the Heart of Russia, which we'll probably won't see until next year. If I'm totally honest. I can't see it being released this year, especially with everything that's been going on. That's not a criticism of SES by any means necessary. Um, oh, by any means at all, sorry. My words mixed up, aren't I? You know, with everything that's going on, everything's going to take a lot longer to do. I know this was supposed to come out, judging on how SES brings out DLC map, map expansions for Euro Truck. It was probably due out sometime between November to December last year, 2020. But because of the pandemic, um, it was delayed until April, start of April. So that's understandable. So we'll probably won't get um, the Heart of Russia DLC until probably April next year, if I'm guessing. Probably be April next year. Well, then the next DLC I'm really, really looking forward to is the American truck. And that probably won't be till next year either. Because they've still got a DLC to come out. And the one after that is Texas. And I really want to go visit San Antonio and El Paso, Texas. San Antonio, because that's where my favourite wrestler, Shawn Michaels, is from. Wasn't born there, he was actually born in Arizona. And, and we're in Madrid. He was actually born in Arizona and... to actually yeah, came to Red in England for a little while. Oh. Which way am I supposed to go? I'm turning off so I'm going that way on I run around but so I think I've got to turn off. Oh yeah, because his dad was a military, military dad in the Air Force, so uh, he spent some time in Reading, England when he was about two, and then they settled in San Antonio where he grew up. So even though he wasn't born in Texas, he spent most of his life being raised in Texas, and so he started wrestling at the age of 18, 19 years old. Yeah, I'd really like to see what San Antonio is like. I've seen pictures of it, and it's from what I've seen, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to visit there in real life if I ever got a passport. It's on my list. Oh yeah, that is an airport over there. Oh, there's a garbage truck up front as well. Are there are traffic lights on this roundabout. Yeah, there is. as well if you come from the other side. Wow, weird roundabout. I'm on the one part, aren't I? I'm going to have to go around again now. Because I'm on totally the one part. Take it you can't turn at this bit.
Maybe you can, I don't know. See the traffic light just on my right hand side. There aren't no signs saying I just can't. There aren't no signs saying I can't turn that way. If I've got a passport, San Antonio is definitely on one of my places to go. And El Paso, Texas, as well. I'm on the one side again. I'm still on the one side. And this one, because of this room. Flash indicator lights, so it has a light, so thank you. I don't know if any other countries do that. And they put the hazard lights on for two seconds to say thank you to the vehicle behind. I've seen El Paso, Texas a few times in movies, so that'd be quite cool to uh, visit. So you've seen by the airport, by Mudalid Airport. <laughs> Doodle do again. I don't think we need to turn off this one yet. No, we don't. We need to stay on the motorway. As you saw when we entered Madrid, achievements came up. But for some reason, because you know, officially I've only driven from when I came into Spain, I've only driven from France, France uh, Barcelona to the other one we went through, which I can't think of right now. Which is, um... Zaragoza. And Madrid, so really I should have only had three, three parts of the achievement. Not so from the progress of the achievement. But because it's registered the other places. Like Bilbao. Actually, up to progress of seven. I don't know if the achievement is just for the Spanish ones or whether that's for Spain and Portugal. doesn't seem to be indicating as we go into this lane, so I don't think we have to. Oh, I thought you had to carry on indicating until you actually turn it off. But he didn't, so I'm guessing you don't have to. Braked a bit too hard there. That's what happens when you're using the keyboard instead of a. Uh, turn off there if we was going the quick way. But we're not, we're going the uh, long way round. And we just missed our turning. What I'm about to do is illegal, don't do it in real life. Damage up to ten percent now. Yes, please don't do this in real life. <laughs> I just want, don't want to go all the way up there and come all the way back down again. Or miss the way we want it to go. Let's get the back up. Yeah, get away with it there. I can 
do it here because it's only a game. But please, please, please don't do it in real life. Must I can't stress that enough. Okay, so we're going round. Right. Yeah, there's three question marks on this one, so there might be another viewpoint here. Industrial business um, site. Uh, man truck dealer discovered. <sighs> uh, recruitment agency is discovered. Is that big shopping centre as well again? Okay. Supercaster. Just to the left hand side. Well, that is a big store there, isn't it? I think that's bigger than the other one. Yeah, that's like one of their mega stores. Real Madrid garage there, if we've got a garage in Madrid, oh, speed bumps. Totally went over them fast last time. Not that you can tell much. No, you're just travelling really, really slow and annoyingly. Yeah, I'm pulling out of you like it or not. Just saw you in the mirror just as I was pulling out, it was too late. I've never seen phone lines in the middle of the road before. Never seen that. Of course, if you've been to this part of Madrid, if it looks recognisable to you, then you know, please let me know in the comments below what you think. If you live at this part of Madrid or been to this part of Madrid. Nice to know your thoughts on how accurate it is or not, whether there's certain points that are and certain points that are not. Yeah, I hit him there. Didn't notice until too late again. I'm really bad at that, aren't I? There's no viewpoints in Real Madrid, which is a shame. You thought there would be. Been it as it's Real Madrid. Oh, Real Madrid. I'm saying Real Madrid, Ooh. don't I? <laughs> it's because of the football team. You think Madrid, you, you automatically want to say Real Madrid. <laughs> oh. Here at Madrid. Of course, Real Madrid isn't the only football team in Madrid. You've got Atletico Madrid as well. You know, it's been such a long video already, I'm just going to skip the parking bit. One hour and 36 minutes. I think that's one hour and 36 minutes real time, I think. So we need to find... Cruising Iberia, two, two events. Oh no, it's, I've gone through two cities, ain't I? Because I started off at Barcelona. And then I've gone through two different towns. So it's not from one town to the other. You actually go through any other towns. 
then it does count as well. So, if, let's say, you're doing a job from Real Madrid, oh, oh, for fuck's sake. if you're doing a job from Madrid, and you're going down to Granada, it might be worth cutting through down the A43 and go to Claude Adelier to Puerto Leno and then coming round to Molina no worth going it's not worth going there just turn around and come back again so just it might take too, a bit too long then then come down to Granada you can go there if you want but then that will knock off you know if you've done that way not including Megabar that will knock off one two one two three and you're probably only adding about an extra hour or two onto your um, journey so yeah shame we can't see the uh, Bernabeu the home the football stadium in Real Madrid don't know if we'll see it if we've got around the entire motorway or down on this part but what I do know is that we need to find a hotel which is over here which we went straight past which I didn't even realize and just go the long way world can you just get through the, no right. went that way had a new checkpoint only at the end Oh no, you still have to come back round. Okay. I'll just do it here and then I can turn up that because we would be on the roundabout anyway. Profit in the last seven days, two million. Or just over two million. 70 drivers, 70 trucks, 16 garages. 869,723,950 million seven hundred and twenty three thousand nine hundred and fifty. Sixty-eight pounds. That's how much profit your web has got today. So let's just take. Actually, just want to quickly check the map again to make sure there's no other question marks around Madrid. That probably counts as Madrid as well. No, there's no other question marks, which means there's no viewpoint in Madrid. It's such a shame. Madrid is, is Madrid the capital of Spain? I can't answer that. But Madrid is one of the biggest cities in Spain. You would thought there'll be a viewpoint for that. So I think SES has missed, uh, missed out there. There. there should be a rest point there, I reckon. A truck rest point. Warehouse is there. Actually, see inside the warehouse there. It's not one we can go to, unfortunately. You could actually see inside the warehouse. <sighs> if you missed it, then just rewind the video a bit and pause, and you'll be able to see. a little scrape when the car when the van goes over the uh those little speed bump things T 
so is next to that. We've gone way too wide there. Jump the path. I oh, know that's the uh, man station, the man trucks dealership. Our hotel's down here. Ooh. See, we're ready for sleep. <laughs> Oh no, it's not a hotel, it's a, it's a truck stop. There's a car park down there as well. Alright, thank you for joining us on this mess of a journey. I think it's been quite longer than I was planning, so I do apologise. Especially if you have to watch this in two parts, if it is too long. But thank you anyway. Uh, you got to see some cool stuff, hopefully. Um, you got to see the viewpoint as well, which is the first for you. I try. Hopefully, SES will put some more viewpoints in already existing maps around Europe. And I shall see you in the next one. Please take care. Look after yourselves. And don't forget to comment if you want to comment. Oh, 11 grand just came in there. Nearly, or nearly 12 grand actually but she's leveled up now as well yeah so please feel free to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification to keep up to date with all future content and I'll leave a link in the description below to my other YouTube channel if you want to check that out there's all kinds of stuff over there I'll another five grand in from t I've got a new series over there where I'm tasting new food and drinks for the first time and doing it like doing it on the videos so you can see my reaction and my uh, thoughts on it and there's all other stuff on there trains uh, air shows airplanes dancing music all different randoms but all, there is all different playlists on there if you want to look for certain playlists on there once again thank you very much guys and I shall see you in the next one take care of each other goodbye for now